Welcome to Methods of Regression Analysis. Today we're going to take our derivation of least squares estimates and do an exercise where we compute these. You can do it relatively by hand with using Microsoft Excel to really show how this works. Recall that the estimates that we got for slope and intercept derived from the sum of the cross product terms, the x minus x bar, y minus y bar divided by the sum of the squared x terms, so it's SXY over SXX. That gets us a slope, and then the intercept forces the line to go through the point X bar, Y bar. We're going to look at the data from James Forbes. We looked at these from the scatter plot example. Today we're going to actually fit the linear regression line to these data. So we know we need X bar and Y bar. Just to be a little bit more clear, let's insert our little labels here to remind us that in this case, the boiling point of water is the X and the atmospheric pressure is the Y. So we're going to need our X minus X bar squares and our X minus X bar times Y minus Y bar terms. We're going to need to add those up. So first we need X bar, which is just the average of the x terms and similarly the average of the y terms. It's always nice to set the format so it doesn't look so ragged. We need to add up the x minus x. There's a couple of ways in which we can do this. We're going to do this pretty straightforward. Our x minus x bar and by using F4, we can turn that on to put the dollars in front of it so it doesn't advance while we, when we do that copy. So as a result, when we copied it down there, the X part of it updated, but the X bar term did not. Similarly here, we have X minus, well, let's get the, it's not a variable, minus X bar. Again, let's not update it as we go copying across the rows and then y minus y bar. Once again, let's make the formatting a little bit prettier. So to get our SXX, it's the sum of the square of the x minus x bars, and SXY will be the sum of those. So this is a sum of this column here. So to get our beta naught estimator, remember that was y bar minus the slope, we haven't done it yet, times x bar. Beta 1 is sxy divided by sxx. And now we actually get that estimate of beta naught correctly. So let's check our work. Once again, let's take a look at our scatter plot. We just insert an XY chart and we get pressure versus boiling point. In Excel, when you have a chart like this, an XY chart, you can add a trend line when you do that, you display the equation on the chart, and there we have it. So Excel agrees with our answer of 81.0640637 as the intercept term uh, negative and 0.5229 as the slope. There we have an example of our least squares estimators for simple linear regression.